Hey there, all of my Aries people out there, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time for your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to schedule yourself a session with me, you can do so at my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to this week and the astrological weather? Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your second house of income, employment, and security, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your 11th house of friendships, your support system, and community. And this kind of aspect spells attacks on the devil we know. So when we talk about the devil we know, now we're talking about troublemakers, problem starters, you know, drama-centered types that may actually be a part of one of our inner circles. In this case for you, in your personal community or maybe in your professional life, coming under fire. Now this is actually something that could still serve you and other people around you well in the long run. But in the beginning, this could also stir up some drama in one or both of these spaces. This could be around a professional matter, a personal matter, or a financial matter. June 14th and 15th, we have Mercury conjunct the sun in Gemini, your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, helpful third parties, allies, and hookups. And this is a fast forward kind of transit. What we have here is some kind of development going on in a joint work, a joint venture, a group project, a team, or maybe even something being hooked up for you that is helping you to speed up an accomplishment or to even tweak or fix something that's been a bit janky in your life. Pay close attention to what is coming up, though, because this is going to require you to be ready to uh, change the organization of something you've got going on in one of these spaces. So that is what I've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. Okay, Aries, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got, of course, your spiritual themes money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. All right, for your big spiritual theme, your big focus this week, you've got the Ace of Wands upright, which is the card of new opportunities uh, that sort of expand or maybe even um, push or replace things in your life that have become stagnant, things that have lost their momentum are getting either improved or, again, like I said, replaced. A lot of the times with the Ace of Wands upright, there is a big focus on drive, energy boosts, resource boosts, increases to passion and activity in all corners of our world that need to get shook up in a good way. Now, this is also going to be a week where you may find that a lot of new offers, new propositions, new hookups are coming your way. But with the Ace of Wands, you got to remember that this is going to be pretty high octane. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the energy and you allow yourself the time to ground them, to organize them, to make sure that they have their best chance at success. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And so this card is indicating that there could be something coming up this week where we do need to start playing it a bit more safe around either a professional or financial matter or commitment that either we've walked into this week with or something that could be coming on the table. A lot of the times with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, we see something that um, could be a bit rickety or something that could be losing its stability. It could be just simply going through a shift of its own or it may be going into a state of decline. Either way, the Ace of Pentacles reversed does say we need a new approach, we need a new plan, we need to uh, take action differently than the way we've been working with this matter in the past. This card can sometimes, yes, indicate a disappointment 
or possibly a sense of loss or something like that, making us also realize where we need to handle something with a, either a bit more care or replace something that we maybe have been holding on to for too long or putting too many eggs in as far as the basket is concerned. For your community, friends, relatives, groups, um, you know, other people, contacts in your life, we've got the Seven of Wands upright, and it looks like you've got some really good help coming your way. The Seven of Wands is all about advantages, it's all about overcoming obstacles, it's all about conquest, and in this position, this card is indicating that there could actually be something going on where... Somebody really goes above and beyond the call of duty for you this week. A lot of the times with the Seven of Wands, when it talks about other people and allies, we're seeing somebody fight a battle and win for us, somebody going out of their way to make an important link, referral, or accomplish an important feat for us, or help us to maybe handle or succeed with something that um, we didn't have the time or the energy or the available you know, hands on deck to take care of with what we've been working with. Either way, a win is coming through your association here. And a lot of the times with the Seven of Wands, this is also uh, turning a tide in your favor where you may have been kind of treading water. For your challenge this week, you've got the Seven of Cups upright. This week, there may need to be a, a bit more effort on your part to get things, uh, to, to just kind of tighten things up where we've been too loosey-goosey, where we've been too passive, or we have been maybe a little bit too distracted with unnecessary options, unnecessary choices, not really being firm. A lot of the times the Seven of Cups, we see options, we see selections, but we also see sometimes um, delays. We see waylays. We see getting confused. We see getting lost or spoiled for choice. And the challenge with the Seven of Cups is locking things down where things have been too fluid or things have been a little bit too uh, chaotic or a bit too loose or unstructured. And you're going to want to make sure that you are taking responsibility where you can, but also welcoming or even promoting help in your life, you know, friends, relative contacts, things like that. Uh, to help tighten things up where things have become uh, a bit unstable. Because you got that help. And for relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the star upright. And so the star upright is, uh, it's another card that is indicative of new life directions. This can often show up where we have uh, a lucky break or a big breakthrough. This is good fortune that is showing up in stages. And so a lot of you are going to find that you know, with, when it comes to a partner, or for those of you who are single or available, somebody new, we are kind of consistently migrating in this direction over the course of probably this next month. The star card upright is talking about a big win that is also going to happen likely for a partner that is going to change a life direction course that they have been on. And that could also spell good fortune for, of course, the entire couple, the entire family. And for those of you who are single or available to new people, this is probably going to be a week where you do end up getting something set up, but we just can't go all the way with it uh, right away, right? This is exchanging numbers. This is setting dates. This is having a good connection but there may be something logistically that needs to get worked out first. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Taurus folks out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And remember, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com. So this week, on the 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got a three-day transit of Mars in your sign, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, and promotions. 
And when we have this kind of square going on, we have attacks on the devil we know. And so there is likely going to be perhaps something going on where a troublesome authority figure, leader, mentor, or influential figure in your life could be coming under fire. This is likely somebody that is perhaps a bit problematic, somebody that has been a problem starter before, even, uh, you know, just untrustworthy, but maybe somebody that is still considered somewhat close or a part of your entourage in some way, especially on either the professional level or something that you've got going on privately. But this attack on the devil you know will likely serve you in the long run, but it could make things very uncomfortable this week. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your second house of income, employment, values, and security. And this kind of transit is called the fast forward because what we see here is a fast forward, a big jump, a big skip ahead opportunity for you. Now, this is likely going to help you speed up your accrual of wealth as Mercury does when he is in our second house. But also at the same time, there could be a fast spur of the moment shift, a fortunate left turn put on the table in a financial or professional corner of your world. And you want to be ready to entertain it. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, time for your weekly tarot and the traffic. And so, of course, we've got your spiritual themes money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. And just bumped the table with the camera on it. There we go. All right, for your big spiritual theme, your big focus this week, you've got the Eight of Wands upright. And the Eight of Wands is all about acceleration. And for a lot of you Taurus people, things in your life that have maybe become sluggish, or they've been waiting their turn, or maybe have just been progressing too slowly, either by environmental choice or environmental circumstances kind of dictating so, or even by yourself being too slow, are going to be getting a huge shot of caffeine. A lot of the times with the Eight of Wands, there is a focus on speeding up as well as fast developments in all corners of our world. Now, the good news is the Eight of Wands is saying this is all good stuff. This is all stuff that you actually would like to see happen. You're just going to need to be ready to shift gears to keep up. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, and practical affairs, you've got the Judgment card reversed. And so the Judgment card reversed is one of those true neutral kinds of cards. A lot of the times this card can show up when there are cancellations, quits, and turndowns going on. And again, depending on the circumstances, because remember, this isn't a personal reading for you. This is a general reading for all the Tauruses out there. This could actually be something that you want. You might actually want this cancellation, right? A plan gets canceled and it's a plan you hated or you're getting a chance to quit or take your leave of something you would like to be off the hook for. However, this could also indicate something that is maybe quitting or canceling that could be a disappointment. So again, it is all really what is going on in your personal world, your own story. Sometimes this card, however, is one that does remind us that there is something that probably should be let be for a little bit. Maybe this is something that we have been kind of stuck in, or there is something that we need to be ready to let go of, to drop or turn aside from, and that will be made known, and we will get a chance to do just that this week as well. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, You've got the death card reversed. And so this week there could be something going on where um, you may encounter a disappointment because of a contact falling behind with something that they're just not, yeah, they're just not able to keep up with you 
or with other people in the group or other people in the family. The death card reversed is a card of old business, stagnation, stuckness, and typically a situation where a person is not either able or willing to participate in a necessary change or transition. Now, this could be somebody who is holding on to the past, or this could be somebody who's just simply fallen behind in their own work. And this could be a sign that you have to leave this person behind for a little while. Remember, there is a difference between somebody falling behind and somebody being left behind. You know, this is a card that's saying this person falling behind is their own fault. Uh, you're not leaving them behind because they decided to sit perfectly still or not do their due diligence. For your challenge this week, you've got the Three of Cups upright. And so the Three of Cups is kind of an interesting challenge because it's not really a bad challenge. The Three of Cups upright, however, does indicate that um, you're going to want to be ready to bring more people on board in your life. The Three of Cups is all about friendship, camaraderie, groups, support, recreation, you know, actually getting engaged and more connected with a strong platonic support system. And so if you feel like maybe you've been in a space where it's like, look, I've got work contacts that are not really friends, and it's just basically been me and my partner or me and my relative against the world, that's not enough people. The challenge with the Three of Cups is all about understanding the importance of squad, of village, of a good, you know, sense of community. And you're going to need to make some time for that. Get in contact with people, reach out, get involved with each other because hookups will be there. And for love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Seven of Pentacles upright. So the Seven of Pentacles upright is one of the cards that I often um, refer to as the check is in the mail kind of message when I'm teaching my tarot students. The Seven of Pentacles is all about growth. It's all about progress. It's all about setting plans, but there's also a waiting period that comes with it as well. With the Seven of Pentacles, there is a sense of accomplishment coming to you and a partner, or maybe just to you in your love life in general, or maybe even with somebody new. But with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, this is likely a situation where it's like we have our victory, we have our win, but we can't do anything with it right this week. We can't get down to business with it right this week. The Seven of Pentacles upright is indicating something still has to mature, something still has to finish loading, as it were, uh, but you will be able to work with it very, very soon. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Gemini people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. So what is going on when it comes to this week for you? Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in your 12th house of the past, private matters, hidden goings-ons, as well as old business as it affects the present, forming a square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your ninth house of expansion, growth, long-distance connections, big moves, big travel opportunities, and even government and legal matters, and your spiritual life. When we have Mars and Pluto in a tense square like this, this can be translated as an attack on the devil we know. And there is likely going to be something going on where either a person or maybe a situation, a connection, or an involvement that you have that has been a source of drama, expense, heartache, or difficulty in any way um, historically is coming under fire yet again. However, this is likely something that is going to serve you well in the long run. But be careful, because again, attacks on the devil, may, the, the devil we know may not necessarily be what we welcome if we've become accustomed to it. Uh, but whatever it is that's coming under fire, it is actually probably time for it to come under fire. June 14th and 15th, 
we've got Mercury conjunct the sun in your sign. And this is a fast forward transit. This is all about speeding something up that has fallen behind. When we have Mercury conjunct the sun in our sign, this is a time where a lot of corrections are happening to stalls and delays that maybe were put forward uh, once upon a time, either by other people or by yourself. But failing stalls and failing delays are actually going to be quite advantageous to you, especially if you've been feeling like life has fallen behind or has been set back, or perhaps, again, a period of waiting has gone on too long. So that's what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Gemini, it's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got, of course, the uh, spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. And so let's have a look and see here. Okay. For your big spiritual theme of the big focus this week, you've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So the Nine of Pentacles reversed is a card that indicates um, usually a sense of winds that are not necessarily um, something that we want to try to repeat the way we are repeating. The Nine of Pentacles reverse can be a card of success, which is good, especially on the financial level, on the material level. So this is still going to be a good week for that. But we need to pay attention to where we need to start letting go of things that have become attached to us or that we have become uh, maybe stuck in a rut with, because there is a warning with this card about diminished returns from investments that will not mature in a way that serves. Now, this could indicate bad company. This could indicate just simply uh, we've stayed in one place or stayed with one place for too long or with one plan for too long, or we are getting chances to see things for how they really are versus the way we uh, are choosing to look at them. Again, there are wins here, but you want to pay close attention to the heads ups that come from this card in different plans and corners of your world this week, because, you know, there's a turn coming. We don't want to miss it. For your material circumstances, work, job, and finances, and practical affairs, we've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. And this is a card of simplification. This is a card of downsizing. This is a card of reduction, but also at the same time, renewing stability, getting a chance to drop things that have become too burdensome, too expensive, too costly, even alienating. So this can actually be a really good, um, a good week for a lot of you, especially if you've been feeling a bit frazzled, a bit frayed, or maybe you feel like you've been tied down to a lot of things financially or professionally that are alienating you from maybe other things that you would like to do with your life, like things that have consumed. This is going to be a week where you get a chance to release, which as we saw is what this week is all about. With the Two of Pentacles reversed, however, it's going to be important that we are careful with making sure that we don't... Um, hold on to things that uh, just because they're what we can time our watch to pay attention to where the outs, the exits and good fortune come through those exits this week, maybe getting a chance to get off of certain projects, get away from certain agreements, switch, swap, whatever is going on. This can actually be a really good commitment card for a lot of you. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life. You've got the Eight of Pentacles upright, and the Eight of Pentacles upright is all about gain. It's all about productivity. It's all about upgrades and updates. And this is likely going to be an important evolution going on in your life because of something that you've got going on with an ally, with a friend, with a contact that is 
kind of, uh, I'm not sure if they're necessarily doing this with you or they are proposing that you do this with them. This could be something uh, of good news that is actually helping you to secure a new work uh, path or a new path maybe creatively or in your social life that is also going to just improve your quality of life in general, make things easier, make things more fun, more fulfilling, more gainful. And it is coming through an important association that you have. Now, this could be one person or this could be a group or a community or a family matter. Either way, the Eight of Pentacles upright says you and uh, whoever is involved are on the way up. For your challenge this week, you've got the Four of Pentacles upright. So the Four of Pentacles upright is a warning card about being too uh, conservative, too clingy, too hoarding in terms of a philosophy, or maybe even um, too, uh, too attached to certain things going a certain way. Be careful about turtling. If you're familiar with that term, be careful about turtling this week. Uh, it's not going to actually serve you. A lot of the times with the Four of Pentacles, there can be a warning about missing out uh, or even falling behind. That can come up from being overly protective, overly insular, um, or maybe even rejecting good things just because they would force us to change. Well, change can be a very good thing. And the Four of Pentacles is saying, be mindful if you're holding on to things uh, or your hand is stuck in the cookie jar, it's because you're holding on to maybe the wrong cookie. So be careful this week, know when to let go. And for your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Ten of Cups upright. And the Ten of Cups is all about happiness, contentment. This is one of the happily ever after cards. And when it comes to love and romance, this is all about a sense of attainment um, or locking something in or having something crystallized that has been maybe locked in the realm of fantasy uh, and not actually, you know, brought forth into being or realized in some way. Now, this could be an important relationship goal, something that is yours and your partner's, maybe even something that you've had privately for a very long time, even before your relationship. Or this could be a very important uh, kind of soul evolving moment going on in a relationship or in a uh, romantic corner of your world. With the Ten of Cups, for a lot of you who are single or are available to new people, this is a beautiful card of getting a chance to connect with an ideal match, known or unknown, likely somebody that um, is, is almost like a perfect reflection of you in terms of values, in terms of disposition, in terms of chemistry. And so it's really important with the Ten of Cups, you know, this could be something evolving out of somebody, you know, with somebody known, or again, developing with something new, or this could just be, again, for those of you who are coupled, uh, this is likely a big level up, right? A big wrap up and evolution moment for everybody in this, uh, in whatever the situation is. So either way, very, very nice. So that is what I've got for you all. There that goes. <laughs> I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Cancerian people, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. This week, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your 11th house of friendships, support system, and community, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your 8th house of shared resources, shared responsibilities, self-employment earnings, intimacy, and even areas that might govern other people's business. And when we have Mars square to Pluto retrograde, we have attacks on the devil we know. And so during this period, uh, it could very well be that a rather problematic or uh, conflict-prone, drama-prone friend, associate, 
or connection relating to one of these areas of your life is going to be coming under fire. This could upset the balance in some kind of agreement or some kind of social group or maybe even something that you've got going on with this person as the clash gets stronger. It's important to keep in mind, though, with something like this, this is likely something that is happening for a good reason and will serve us and those in the right in the long run. But in the short run, it could make for a very difficult middle of the week. On the 14th and 15th, We've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your 12th house of the past, private matters, hidden opportunities, as well as old business as it affects the present, and even shortcuts. And this is all about fast forwards coming your way. And with Mercury conjunct the Sun, you may be receiving some kind of important gift, some kind of hookup, or some kind of important favor that is helping you to speed up development or speed up evolution with something that you have been working on in private, or perhaps pull something from out of the past that you deeply treasure into the present, or even take a shortcut to accomplish a goal that maybe the more mainstream way was not going to get you there in a timely fashion with. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Cancer, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And so we've got your spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. Okay. So for your spiritual theme of the big focus of this week, you've got the Knight of Swords reversed. And so when we get the Knight of Swords reversed here, this is a card that can sometimes show us where certain things that we are working on or invested in may be starting to take off in a way that's too fast um, or too quick or starting to behave or evolve in a very erratic kind of way. The Knight of Swords Reverse can be a card that warns of potential conflict or disarray because things are kind of moving or maneuvering in um, not only a hectic fashion, but possibly even in a mindless one. Even situations that are, um, you know, that are supposed to be fast paced or could be even very driven or ambitious need to be tempered, need to be, you know, again, mindful, need to actually have um, you know, a sense of direction, a sense of understanding of what is going on, why it's happening, and where it's going. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, there can sometimes be almost like a, a, a bit of a belligerent chaos in the air. It's a hurricane card. And so we need to be careful about making sure that things are not going, uh, are not going into a perilous place because they're just operating at a nine when everybody and everything involved needs to be at like a four or less. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, you've got the Page of Pentacles upright. And the Page of Pentacles is all about offers. It's all about seed planting, new beginnings getting made solid. A lot of you could be finding that this is coming whether you're looking for something new or you're putting yourself out there or not. Because sometimes the Page of Pentacles shows up as a gift, something that comes our way. Now, I never encourage people to just kind of sit back passively with tarot and astrology readings with their hands out and pray. I, I encourage everyone to live their lives because tarot and astrology serve the living. But with this card, it does indicate that there could be some important bundle or development that is solidifying a different road or maybe a, a, some kind of stream of income or resource boost coming your way. With the Page of Pentacles, this could also indicate something that um, has been waiting for its turn, waiting for a chance to get implemented, to get enacted, to get off the ground. It's finally having its day. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Page of uh, Cups reversed. And the Page of Cups reversed is a funny card because this is a card uh, that involves unwanted attention. Even attention that could subjectively be seen as positive 
is still actually working in a bad way or creating discomfort, creating strife, creating problems. Now, a lot of the times with the page of cups reversed in this position, we see a situation where maybe um, somebody is trying really, really hard to get too close. They're crossing boundaries. They're not paying attention. Sometimes this can be a card where somebody is really pressuring us. Uh, now, this could just be a, a situation where it's, you know, it's a community situation where we're getting kind of pressured, peer pressured, or um, negatively incentivized, or even un comfortably positively incentivized to do or be something we are not. This could be uh, unwanted romantic attention coming from a, a certain corner of our world, or even a platonic sense. This could be kind of like an all about Eve, single white female obsessed kind of moment. So you got to be careful with this card and know where certain boundaries need to be fortified. When it comes to your challenge this week, You've got the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> I just said Cups. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. So the Knight of Pentacles reversed is a card of overcompetitiveness, um, working too hard, single-mindedness, um, becoming a workaholic, or maybe tunnel vision to a certain extent, or, or putting too much effort or too much focus into one corner of our world. Now, this can still be a good card, weirdly enough, because this is a card of prosperity. It's still a card of success. But we remember we have to make sure that we are keeping a balance, right? The pie chart needs to be, well, you know, distributed or, or, or segmented evenly. And if we're not careful with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, we could find ourselves in a couple of situations where certain projects or pursuits, activities or priorities could displace or or create some issues where we don't have time for anything else this week. And when it comes to love, romance and partnerships, you've got the tower reversed. Now the tower card reversed can indicate um, an external transition going on that is going to indirectly affect us or affect our relationship or something that we've got going on. Um, the tower card reversed is still a card of intense shifts, and but it's all happening on the external, which means this is not happening to you personally. But there could be something going on um, in a partner's world that does ha have an effect on a plan or an arrangement that we have, or there could be something going on with another household. There could be something going on environmentally that, again, it's not impacting you, the Cancerian, directly, but it's something we got to be ready for because um, we're going to be reacting to it or we have to be ready to react to it. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this card can indicate, yes, an opportunity for a, an important development in love. But again, a new person or somebody that you've been seeing maybe going through this or have something in their world outside of you um, go through a major transition this week. And that could make for a bumpy week. So we've just got to be ready to ride that wave. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Leo people, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go onto my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to your week? Well, the 11th, 12th, and 13th, We've got Mars in Taurus, your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises, forming a tense square with Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, which is your 7th house of partnerships, joint ventures, close one-on-one -on -one connections, and commitments. And when we have this kind of square going on, this presents attacks on the devil we know. 
And when this goes, when this happens, we tend to see um, something or somebody, or maybe it's just a, a venture, a, a journey or a pursuit itself that has been prone to problems, a thorn in your side, or maybe even holding you back, coming under fire. Now, the challenge with this is this may be something that we've gotten used to. This may even be a person or some or a situation that we feel secure with, even though it's the devil we know. Whatever is going on in this area, in these areas of your life, this could be relating to career or even a close personal connection or a close professional relationship. This is something that is probably going to serve you in the long run or help things straighten out, but it may make for a difficult uh, middle of the week. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the sun in Gemini, your 11th house of friendships, your support system, and community. And this is all about a fast forward kind of movement here. With Mercury conjunct the sun, this is likely going to precipitate um, some kind of breakthrough or some development going on with a friend or maybe a community that you're a part of that is going to help give you a big launch with something that you desire to accomplish that you have not had the tools, the road, or the directions in order to go about making it so until now. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Leo, sun, moon, and rising, it's time to have a look and see what's going on with your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got, of course, spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. All right. So for your big spiritual theme of the big focus, what this week is all about, you've got the strength card, upright, which is all about amplification. Things coming into a place, well, where they are stronger. The strength card is all about an influx of support, resources, money, uh, but also back up where we need it the most so that things in our life that have been maybe forced to maybe sit back, uh, stay small, or have just not been able to muscle their way into becoming more substantial are having that chance. With the Strength card upright, this is also going to be a week where you are getting a chance to kind of cut loose. This is a card of wildness, of boldness, getting a chance to enjoy um, maybe certain hungers or certain, uh, you know, let's just say certain pastimes or any kind of uh, pl simple pleasures that you've been going without. And that's going to also come up uh, in a very plentiful way this week. So be ready, though. With the Strength card upright, you are going to be feeling very large and in charge. You are also going to be a lot more visible. You may find yourself even promoted to situations where you have more leadership responsibilities, but this is all still taking very, very good care of you, right? You are becoming more substantial a presence in all corners of your world. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, and practical affairs, you've got the Five of Swords upright. And so the Five of Swords is a card of hostilities when it's upright. And this is likely going to, cre you know, be precipitated as some kind of conflict, argument, or even battle over a professional or financial matter, or possibly something going on on the home or family front as it relates to a practical affair. With the Five of Swords, this could be something that is um, getting misused, disrespected, or even abused as far as a privilege, a resource, or a position is concerned. Um, and some of you may find that you are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a coworker, a client, a customer, a neighbor, a family member over this situation. With the Five of Swords, it is possible to still emerge victorious, but we want to make sure that we don't get pulled down with whomever we are defeating, because sometimes that can happen with the Five of Swords if we're not careful. Um, we don't want to go down with the enemy that we are striking down. Almost knocked that over. When it comes to your uh, community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Four of Swords upright. And the Four of Swords is all about repose. It's all about regeneration. 
It's all about peace, relaxation, and things are actually very calm in this part of your world. Now, it's likely with the Four of Swords upright, a lot of you are getting a chance to get some serious downtime because of uh, a good deed of a friend or an ally, somebody helping to relax or maybe um, solve something that you've been doing or that you've been carrying on with, or maybe even help you to uh, calm something that's gotten a bit out of control or has become too stressful making it all the more easy for everybody involved. With the Four of Swords, this could even also be a time where you are spending more time with important friends and contacts, becoming closer away from the crowd. But with the Four of Swords, again, this is all about peace, calm, and even setting stronger bonds with everybody. For your challenge this week, you've got the Two of Swords upright. And so with the Two of Swords, this can be a week where there could be a more than one crossroads kind of experience that shows up for you. Choosing between sides, choosing between roads, choosing between paths, choosing between loyalties. And with the Two of Swords, the biggest challenge here is you have to hear everything out. Um, you need to investigate. You do not want to go with any kind of preferential treatments or biases or anything along those lines. A lot of the times the Two of Swords, the crossroads is there because we need to sit with what is getting revealed. What is revealed during this time could be very good for you. Sometimes we have good opportunities to disrupt our lives and we get in our own way by turning them down because we just don't want the disruption. We don't want the change. The Two of Swords is saying, let things, you know, take your time. Just don't, you know, be neutral, take a platform of neutrality, hear all sides before, you know, you decide on what you're going to do when these crossroads moments come up. And finally, for your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Page of Swords upright. And so the Page of Swords is all about exploration. It's all about an inquiry. It's all about an opportunity to uh, forge ahead. And this is likely something that is going to come up because of a special development, either in a relationship that you're in, something going on with a partner, or maybe an outside development that is giving you and your partner and your whole relationship a chance to skip ahead, uh, to skip a grade, as it were. With the Page of Swords, this can indicate an important shortcut to the accomplishment of a goal or maybe even a hidden road or advantageous detour with a journey or plan that you've been on. And you do want to be neutral when you entertain it because you might think, I don't want to go there, but it could be a good thing. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this is likely going to show up with a new person or somebody known, but you want to make sure that we are taking the time to explore, to investigate, to evaluate. And with the Page of Swords, we could be playing 20 questions around this uh, because it does kind of um, take us off the beaten path, but could be very nice. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Virgo people, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is going on? for this week for you. Well, the 11th, the 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your ninth house of expansion, growth, big moves, travel opportunities, long distance connections, as well as government, legal proceedings, and even your spiritual path and practice forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in your sixth house of work, career, reputation, work in terms of reputation, um, career prowess to a certain extent, more like your reputation, what you're known for, your schedule, the teams that you're on, and the people that you serve. 
Now, when we have this kind of square going on, we see attacks on the devil we know. And there could be something going on where a, a project, an agreement, a contract, an arrangement, or even a person that has been a problem for you, or that has created problems in the past that you kind of just live with, or something that you have to live with is coming under fire. In the long run, this is serving everybody very well, but this could create some chaos, or even create some conflicts in one or both of these areas of your life as we proceed through this week. On the 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises. And with Mercury conjunct the Sun, we see a big, fast forward going on here. And there is probably going to be some kind of news or development going on in a career space around an opportunity to accelerate your climb. Now, this could be putting you in alignment with maybe more money soon to come down the road, or perhaps put you in a position to make a big score or a big splash with an important authority figure or an important role change. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Virgo, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. All right. And so for your spiritual theme, you've got the Three of Swords upright. And so the Three of Swords upright, as far as the spiritual theme is concerned in terms of what this week's all about, what you're going to be doing, what's going to be going on with you, is that you might find yourself in a situation or several situations this week where you have got to make important calls that you know are going to be controversial, that you know are going to possibly break some hearts, be unpopular. <clears throat> They're not going to be very affirming or appeasing to everybody, um, but that is life. And with the Three of Swords, because it is a card of heartache, it could, you know, you might even find yourself in a situation where, or, or several situations where you have to kind of be the bad guy who is doing the right thing. Uh, this can sometimes show up even where making the right calls or focusing on the highest interest of all concerned could leave other people feeling betrayed. But unfortunately, we all have to go there sometimes. And remember, there is such a thing as, look, the, the right thing being unpopular. And sometimes this is, you know, one of those moments where we just need to be okay with ripping a bandage off every once in a while. And you may find yourself being the bad guy doing the right thing or making the right call a lot. I'm used to it as a fellow Virgo. I'm used to it, but eh. when it comes to material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Queen of Pentacles upright. And so the Queen of Pentacles upright is all about support, security, fruitfulness, and prosperity. This is going to be a week where a lot of you are really coming into your own in terms of being able to hit uh, an important new stride, not only in your work, maybe a career path, but even around uh, your material and financial quality of life. Now, the Queen of Pentacles upright could show up as an important ally, a work development, a financial development, or even somebody coming to take you under their wing, lift you up in some way. A lot of the times the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that we, this is not a person who's afraid to get their hands dirty. This is somebody that is respectable, who puts their own blood, sweat, and tears into their life's work. Uh, they don't, you know, ride the coattails of others. This is somebody that could, is true blue. And so if this is an important ally, you keep them close. But if this is not a person and this is simply a status or an environmental shift, you're also going to be cashing in. So things seem to be going beautifully here. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Two of Wands reversed. And so the Two of Wands reversed is a card of misunderstandings. Um, and there could be something going on in a group, 
Uh, whether it's uh, a group of friends, a team, a family matter, or maybe something around a project or a committed activity that you are a part of where there could be some frustration or even confusion that comes up over misunderstandings, miscommunications, or even things that uh, people are just not hearing correctly, people not listening to each other, uh, you know, people not foolproofing their words. And there is a risk of a certain pursuit, a certain project, or a certain plan um, kind of you know, not necessarily derailing, but going on a much harder course than it needs to be on. So be ready to get involved, start calling shots better, and also maybe taking some corrective action where you need to do some correcting, okay? For your challenge this week, you've got the hangman reversed. And the hangman reversed is all about re-engagement. It's all about becoming more active, becoming more visible, becoming more prominent. Things that were once maybe held back or things that were put on pause or things that were, um, you know, shelved or tabled coming back into action. It can actually be a really good card. However, with the hangman reverse as a challenge, this can sometimes show up where all of these things are happening. Even good things are happening. But the timing is awkward. The timing is difficult to coordinate. And so we may have a, a bit of a hectic week on our hands. We might have a very demanding kind of week on our hands. With the hangman reversed, however, this can also indicate a need to be ready to speak up and get engaged where we've taken a platform of non-involvement before. Uh, speaking up, speaking out, give, airing our true feelings, and kind of like what we saw with the Three of Swords, that could be a challenge, especially if it's a situation where you know being honest is not going to feel good for the listener. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Lovers Reversed. And so the Lovers card reversed is indicating that there could be um, a bit of a conflict coming up around a package deal or an attachment or something that is introducing or inviting or keeping an open door for a troublemaking influence. Um, a lot of the times with the lover's card reversed, we do see issues with package deals and attachments, um, whether these be people, associations, or they could even be uh, just agreements, contracts, paperwork, things like that. Now, with the Lover's Card Reverse, this is going to be a week where some of you could be discovering that an, an agreement, a contract, a plan, or an association that you and a partner have been maintaining has been working against you, and you need to be ready to deal with it, to confront it, to undo. However, for some of you, this could just simply be a week where there has to be um, a confrontation of a situation that's gotten a bit out of hand because of, of a problematic association. Now, this could be maybe an association that your partner has or an association that you have. Either way, something's going to need to be rewritten around the boundaries of the situation because, again, bad attachments, bad, bad commitments can become problematic uh, or snowball themselves. And for those of you who are single or available to new people, pay attention to bad attachments and again, uh, package deal problems. You know, what could you be taking on by taking on a person just in general? And what do you need to be ready to be very clear with and very under, you know, and, and just ready to call when you see it? So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. Remember, when it comes to the package deal thing, it might not have anything to do with the partner or partner potential, but what is the other part of the package deal? Uh, but if you are uh, interested in ever getting a session with me, don't forget, you can always go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, and self-order a session. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it, and I'll see you all later. Hey there, all of my Libra people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting 
June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is this week for you? Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, uh, financial responsibilities that you may share with others, even other people's business, to be perfectly honest, forming a tense square to Pluto currently retrograde in your fifth house of love, romance, recreation, creativity, and even parenthood in your relationships with your kids. Now, with Mars squared to Pluto in this way, we have attacks on the devil we know. And there is likely, in the middle of the week, going to be something coming up where um, an aspect of either a romantic relationship, your personal life in general, or even something you've got going on with one of your kids could have a problem person or a problem situation, a problem arrangement come under fire. Now, this is the kind of thing that does serve us for the best in the long run, but in the short term, this could be something that is not handled very well by, you know, some people that may be involved. The devil we know could be a difficult situation that we've just gotten used to, or a problematic or maybe unhealthy arrangement with a person, or um, maybe a path that we've been apologetic for. But what's happening here is a kind of a forced fix. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your ninth house of higher education, expansion, growth, big moves, travel opportunities, as well as anything to do with government or legal matters, long distance connections, and even your spiritual path and practice. And so with Mercury conjunct the sun here, we see a fast forward kind of influence, speeding up something that you have been waiting to engage or waiting to pursue. Now, this could be very good for those of you who are looking to travel or set some travel plans, or maybe you are looking to make some kind of move or to get some contract squared away or to speed up something that has maybe been a very long, painstaking conversation in either a personal or business fashion. But you're winning nonetheless. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Libra, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And so we've got, of course, spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. Okay. So for your big spiritual theme, your big focus, you've got the sun upright, which is all about fun. It's all about mirth, happiness, peace, but also a clearing of things that have become overly complicated, overly challenging, things that ultimately do not actually pay off, right? Especially when it comes to how much they actually take just in order to be. When we get the sun card upright, it is both a card of fun, inspiration, and you know, recreation and enjoyment, but also a card of simplification as well as peace, pacification, and purification. And you're going to be noticing that this is at work in all corners of your world. Allow this to do its work in your world, because with the sun card upright, it's going to be a fairly easy breezy kind of week for you. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the devil upright. And so the devil is all about facing a situation that is or threatens to be an adversarial influence and identifying it so that we can block it, so that we can remove it. With the devil card upright, there is a bit of a warning here. Be careful about... Uh, letting something uh, kind of get into the hen house, as it were. This could be a person, this could be an account, this could be even um, a bully or a thorn in your side playing up around a financial, professional, or even family matter. 
If the devil card is showing up at all, it's important to remember that it's good that it is because now we get to see the troublemaker, right? This can be an important reveal kind of week. And once something is revealed, we can do something about it. However, there can also be a warning card here. There will be the temptation to take certain risks you should not be taking or to give chances you should not be taking around a professional or financial matter. Um, and so be very, very careful, very, very deliberate and very, very discerning when it comes to these circumstances this week. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Eight of Swords upright. And so the Eight of Swords is indicating that um, there could be something going on where you may have to put somebody in timeout. The Eight of Swords is a card of binding uh, and entrapping influences. It's a card of inertia. And there could be something coming up around a contact that you have that is holding you or everybody back, holding up the works. Um, they're not doing their part. They're not doing their due diligence. And in a lot of cases with the Eight of Swords, we can often see somebody who is responsible for perpetuating a negative situation or respond or at least least a co-conspirator or a culpable party. With the uh, Eight of Swords, some of you may already know who this person is. You know, it's like, okay, we've tried to help them, but they're just as bad as the problem that they're complaining about. Or we are just finding that this person's lack of effort, lack of diligence on their own part is creating a, a collateral effect that is quite negative. And so, so again, some of you may be deciding to ice somebody out, uh, whether for temporary or for good, it's going to be on a Libra to Libra basis. But again, it's all the effort of that sun card, right? Bringing in that fun, that simplicity, that peace, uncomplicating things. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Eight of Cups reversed. And so the Eight of Cups reversed is a card of revisits, it's a card of reversals, and it's a card of returns. Now, when we have this card as a challenge, this can show up where um, we need to pay attention to where we might be slowing ourselves down, or we may be taking too long to take certain efforts or take certain roads. A lot of the times with the Eight of Cups reversed, we see delays. We see transitions that need to happen, especially in situations that are gone and done. They have nowhere else to go but we might be either being too careful or we may be too involved in something that has nothing to do with us and it is taking over our world. With the Eight of, Sword, Eight of Cups reversed as far as a challenge, you need to know when it's okay to move forward. Stop turning over the same stones. Stop, you know, reopening old doors. Stop re-engaging old problems, you know, and old, and old problem people. And when it comes to love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Wheel of Fortune upright. And so the Wheel of Fortune upright is all about happy accidents, fortunate good turns, of course, as well as even uh, shifts that kind of come out of the environment that transform the story, the path, or maybe the lay of the land. As, re as it relates to our love life. Um, this can be a card of breakthroughs, especially when it comes to things just kind of lining up. New chapters in your love life are going to be uh, getting started. New pages are starting to turn, especially for those of you who are uh, single or are available to new people. You may be noticing that your environment might be changing in some way where a lot of fresh faces, or if there is somebody that you have your eye on, um, maybe something going on in their environment that is helping to align you guys better together to finally make something happen or to get something moving or to bring somebody new in that will make something happen. And for those of you who are coupled or are married, this can indicate as well a happy accident or a happy surprise that could shift a course that you've been on in terms of your relationship uh, because of an environmental circumstance turning either in your world or in your partner's world that is helping something click that's failed to click until now. So that is what I've got for you all 
I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Scorpio people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for all of you out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is going on when it comes to your week. Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your seventh house of partnerships, closest one-on-one -on -one arrangements, joint ventures, and commitments, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your fourth house of home, family, living situation, and home economy. And this kind of transit is all about attacks on the devil we know. And so there could be something coming up where a household, family, or maybe even a, a joint venture or, or partnership agreement that has been a source of a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties in spite of us keeping it going, or maybe even a problem person in a family situation or in a business operation or a joint venture is coming under fire. This is likely something that's going to serve everybody in the long run, but it will stir up some drama midweek. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, self-employment earnings, and anything you may share with other people. And this is all about a fast forward and in a very, very good way. This is setting you up for a nice score as this part of your chart can also indicate surprise monies, bonus income, or something that is going to put you ahead, financially speaking. This could be something that is getting kicked off this week or confirming or committing something for you for the second half of the month. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Scorpio, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got your spiritual themes money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. And so let's see here. For your big spiritual theme, your big focus, you've got the High Priestess upright. So this is going to be a week where you're going to notice a lot of people wanting to get more involved in your world, get more personal in your world. The High Priestess is all about guidance. It's all about assistance, as well as even matchmaking, referrals, problem solving, and hookups. And you want to make sure that you are allowing this, uh, because with the High Priestess, important good help coming in to intervene and intercede where you need it, help you find things that you're looking for. That's always a good thing. However, with the High Priestess upright, again, while we have a lot of active, helpful third parties working on our side, you are going to need to be ready because they are not just coming in to do things for you for nothing. Not saying that you have to pay all of them. You might in some cases, but in a lot of cases, they are coming in to also tutor. They are coming in to teach. They are coming in to show you a new way of going about your business. So you got to be ready to learn. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, and practical affairs, uh, we've got the Magician card reversed. And the Magician card reversed is all about needing to be ready to take on a situation where either trust or skills or resources or privileges have been getting abused uh, or mishandled in some way. 
Now, this could be something that you discover, or this is something that could have been going on for a long time, finally hitting its boiling point. And, you know, the culprit, the problem party, the person responsible is getting found out or is maybe acting up or playing up more than they have in the past. Usually with the magician card reversed, we see a faker, we see a fraudster, or if it's not a person, we just see something that is not what it claims to be. Uh, it can usually go in one of two extremes. We either see something that is a deliberate, you know, shyster, manipulator, uh, shady type of person or shady agreement, shady plan, shady whatever. Or we see the opposite, something that's not really like a Machiavellian genius, but really just an incompetent, sloppy, uneducated person or poorly founded plan or poorly put together project that's trying to pass itself off as something valuable or worthwhile or, or, or worth a shit. And you've got to be careful this week because this is coming up to be scrutinized, which is good, but you may have some reveals you need to be ready to make adjustments for, um, but you can get through this. For your Community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Ten of Wands upright. And the Ten of Wands is all about um, a win that could be very high maintenance. This is a card of burdens. This is a card of labor. Um, and you may be finding out about something going on with a friend, with a relative, with a contact that may be taking on something that's too hot to handle, they're getting overwhelmed, um, it's too heavy, but it is also very promising. Now, this could be a big move that is going on in their life that they could share. A big move for them could be a big move for others, including someone like yourself. But with the Ten of Wands, um, they're, they're definitely needing some help. It could actually pay to help with this situation with whatever is going on there. For your challenge this week, you've got the Chariot Reversed. And the Chariot Reversed is a card of uh, diverging roads, diverging paths, and even um, a, a feeling of loss of control in a lot of fast-paced situations. When we have the Chariot card reversed, we need to know when things need to be um, parsed out differently in terms of plans or, or priorities. It could be tempting to spread yourself too thin, to overcommit, or to um, just kind of carry on with something that is not performing the way it should or in its best form. With the chariot reversed, this could also indicate a situation, just a week where you might be kind of feeling like you don't have enough hours in the day, you know, where it's like you have to be everywhere at once. You have, you know, there needs to be two or three of you just to kind of lock things down. So make sure that you are distributing yourself in a way that is fair to you and fair to others, but also try not to overcommit. And finally, when it comes to love, romance, and partnerships, we've got the Empress reversed. Now, the Empress reversed is a card of uh, problems that could come from irresponsible behavior. Uh, this can indicate issues in the environment that are cropping up uh, due to the selfish behavior or even sabotaging behavior of some bad actors or bad characters in our world. With the Empress reversed, there could be something coming up around family drama that could be affecting a partner or affecting yourself, or maybe something going on on the material front or even the past as it affects the present. With the Empress card reversed, this can usually show up where there is a discovery or the confrontation of a person or a situation that is its own worst enemy, uh, either in the way that it was brought forth into being or in terms of just the character who is responsible for it all. This could be a difficult relative or in-law, or again, this could be a difficult association either on your side of things or on your partner's side of things. And whatever is going on with them, 
is creating problems for each of you. There could also be something going on where perhaps a plan or a course of action that we've been working on with a partner or a partner intended needs to be reviewed because an element of this plan could be its own worst enemy. So be very smart this week. Make sure you know how to call things like you see them. Um, typically with the Empress card reversed, so long as we get ourselves detached from the cause, uh, or the source or the person or the situation that is their own worst enemy will have a good week. So that is what I've got for you all here. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Sagittarius folks out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is going on when it comes to your week. Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your sixth house of work, reputation, schedule, the teams that you're on, the name you make for yourself, and the people that you serve, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, third parties, hookups, as well as any kind of collaborative ventures that you may have going on. And when we have these two in a tense square, we see attacks on the devil we know. So it is likely that, that during this period, either an arrangement, a commitment, or maybe even a person that has historically already been a source of complications, drama, or difficulties in your life, whether it's at work or maybe something relating to your personal life, family, relatives, things like that, is going to be getting themselves into some trouble. The attacks on the devil we know means the devil we know is coming under fire. But this could make for a complicated week for you because, well, if it's the devil you know, it might have been at some point the devil you tolerated. But it will serve everyone in the long run. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your seventh house of partnerships, closest one-on-one -on -one connections and arrangements, including business partnerships, romantic partnerships, or any kind of joint ventures that you've got going on. And these two coming together equal a fast forward. And there could be something coming up that speeds up the development or the progress towards an important relationship goal or a joint venture goal or business triumph in your life. This could also indicate the fast coming together of important allies as well as personal and business connections. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Sagittarius, it's time to see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. And so we've got your spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. Okay, so for your big spiritual theme and the big focus of this week, you've got the Six of Pentacles upright. And so this is certainly one of the weeks where you can kind of count on the generosity of other people to see a lot of things through. The Six of Pentacles is a card of giving, but also a card of receiving investments that are being made in us by others. Now, whether these are material investments, these are special favors, big moves, um, but also at the same time, um, getting a chance to maybe be put on the spot a little bit because somebody is trying to lift us up. And this is an experience that's going to be happening over and over and over again. With the Six of Pentacles, the message is always very clear. People are going to be taking chances on us. And so we want to be ready to do our best to step up and put that generosity, put that kindness, and put that investment to good use. 
for your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Five of Cups in reverse. So the Five of Cups in reverse is all about replacements. It's all about recovery. It's all about uh, crossing bridges, right? Getting away from troubled waters. And when we have this card show up, there is going to be something coming on the table where you're going to get a chance to recover from some kind of recent loss or disappointment or bad period because of a replacement showing up in your life. Now, this could be a replacement opportunity, replacement funds, replacement money, replacement people, if that's what you need. But this is all about taking that bridge over troubled waters. Sometimes the Five of Cups in reverse can also indicate a chance for us to have a bad situation be turned out, you know, I guess, you know, for the good, or if not turned out for the good, at least have some good come out of it because of some kind of special replacement or um, new addition that is going to be kind of a bending chance in our favor. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the King of Cups upright, so very much on theme with the focus on generosity. The King of Cups usually shows up when somebody is working really hard on our behalf. Uh, this is a solid friend. This is a solid ally. The King of Cups is all about magnanimous action moving us forward. And there could be something going on where you find that a contact or an ally, a friend or a family member is, you know, this could be a new person in your life too, is really sticking their neck out for you to pull off some kind of miracle or to link something up, put something together, bring something forth into being. This can also indicate um, somebody trying to be extremely helpful to you uh, in such a way where they could even be doing this behind the scenes and we may not find out about their efforts until after the fact. And that might be the case for some of you Sagittarius folks out there. For your challenge this week, you've got the Seven of Swords upright. And so the Seven of Swords is all about problematic action, underhanded behavior, uh, dishonesty, untruthful uh, people, or even a bit of manipulation uh, or incomplete truths. And so with the Seven of Swords as a challenge, while we have a lot of good stuff going on here, you need to be careful uh, to make sure that you are not trusting to people or to situations that are um, working with dishonesty in order to get ahead in life. Um, watch out for things that could be attempting to pull off what they should not pull off. Underhanded behavior or problematic action can also indicate unstable efforts. Things going off half-cocked, uh, people maybe trying to jerry-rig things or to manipulate or steer things that uh, they should not be so controlling of and actually only making problems come out of those efforts. This could show up sometimes with things that we are directly involved in, or this could be the actions of others. And finally, for your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, we've got the Three of Pentacles reversed. And so the Three of Pentacles reversed can be a, one of the cards of social clashes going on, um, interpersonal clashes that have more to do with not so much relationship matters, like not so much on the romantic front, but maybe about philosophy, about priorities, productivity, and even to a certain extent values. When we have the Three of Pentacles reversed, there can be kind of a teamwork breakdown going on. Sometimes this can show up in situations where maybe when it comes to a partner or something that we've got going on together, um, people are not really playing to each other's strengths. We're maybe kind of working on the wrong things, working on the wrong priorities, or we're trying to maybe 
uh, maybe maybe we feel like we're 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 not playing to each other's expertise is a good way to look at it. Um, everyone's kind of doing the wrong jobs that are not really suited to their natural talents. They're playing the wrong roles. Now, sometimes this can happen on accident. You know, people just assume certain roles in relationships sometimes. Sometimes that's stuff they bring in from like old relationships or old conditioning or just out of habit. Um, but this is gonna, there's gonna be some toe stepping going on if we carry on that way. With the Three of Pentacles reversed, there's going to be a need to, to decide how we're going to do teamwork going forward to get through whatever this matter is. And for those of you who are single or are available to new people, you may have that very same experience with somebody new or uh, recent in your life because it's sort of, we're not just going to be able to kind of, you know, go through the motions, right? We're not going to be able to just kind of like, okay, we're just going to assume the roles and stuff that we always do. We need to make this relationship and make this connection our own instead. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Capricorn people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for all of you out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is going on when it comes to this week for you? Well, on June 11th, as well as the 12th and the 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your fifth house of love, romance, recreation, creativity, parenthood, and relationships with your kids, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your second house of income, employment, valuables, and security. And when we have these two come together, we see attacks on the devil we know. And so for everybody, depending, you know, of course, it's going to show up in different ways, depending on what part of their chart it's falling in. But everybody seems to be going through a situation where a problematic element, uh, whether it's a problematic arrangement, a person or uh, a pursuit or setup that has historically always been created problems or drama or difficulties or expenses is coming under fire. Now, this could be something that has been a problem for you in your love life, a problem for you uh, as it relates to maybe your relationships with one of your kids or something relating to a financial setup that you have. But it is coming under fire, and because it's the devil we know, well, that also means it's the devil we've tolerated or become accustomed to. It could make for a very uncomfortable period, the 11th, 12th, and 13th, but it will serve in the long run. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury, conjunct the sun in Gemini, which is your sixth house of work, your reputation, your schedule, the teams that you serve with, the people that you serve, and of course, the name you make for yourself. And with these two coming together, we see a big fast forward. And a lot of you may find that you are getting a chance to make some important moves that are going to put you in a good place, both financially and as well in your work reputation. This is a sense of getting aligned to move up in the world faster than what might be normal for you or for people in your positions or maybe those in your vocation. This can also indicate rising to power in a community or a group in your life where you can start making some very big moves and also help more people. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Capricorn, time to have a look and see what's going on with your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got your spiritual themes money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. Okay, so for your big spiritual theme or your big focus, you've got the Hermit card reversed. And the Hermit card reversed is all about emergence. It's all about things that have been maybe shadowed or obscured or overlooked coming to light. And for a lot of you, this is going to be a week where 
you get to have your chance of having your day in the sun. Because with the Hermit card reversed, there's going to be a lot more attention on you and also a lot more attention on things in your life that maybe could use it. And with the Hermit reversed, allies may be showing up out of the woodwork, people stepping forward, hidden opportunities that have been cloaked, things that we didn't get a chance to necessarily even know were there going to be revealed either through people or just through the circumstance itself. However, with the Hermit card reversed, it's going to be very important to remember that because it is all about emergence and reconnection, we have to be ready to break the habit of maybe going solo with everything or being too private with everything as well, because we need to welcome this input if we're going to capitalize on this input. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you've got the Six of Cups in reverse. Now, the Six of Cups in reverse is all about a cleaning of the slate. Things from the past that could be repetitious, that are no good, things that just kind of refresh themselves over and over again, like a cycle going away, which is always a really nice thing to see uh, when we have this card show up. And you might find that either at the office or in a career matter, or even with a financial situation that you have, something that has kind of followed you from the past or always keeps coming up is losing the element of itself that allows it to keep coming back. And that will be a welcome change of pace. When we have the Six of Cups reversed, this could be old business that's been, you know, creating harm in the present, old issues that are keeping us from moving forward, getting ahead, or maybe even, you know, vicious cycles on the work front or on the money front that are finally getting put to rest. Either way, again, your slate's getting clean. It was upright, so all you upright people, lucky you. <laughs> For your communications or community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Justice card upright. And with the Justice card upright, this is going to be um, a very important message or something kind of getting set in stone uh, that has been maybe up in the air for a while. When we get the Justice card upright, remember, we're talking about friends, family, allies, and contacts. This can indicate some kind of very important connection, very important commitment, very important contract or communication getting made solid and crystallized so that it will serve you and the other party involved. Now, this could also be, interestingly enough, um, as it relates to an ally or a friend, somebody stepping forward and helping you to fix something. Because the Justice card can also be a card of correcting things that have been bad for a while or out of balance or um, maybe not working properly. This could be something getting changed in, a, in an environment or a community space, a group space, a family space, a living situation space, a workspace, or again, possibly somebody just coming in and helping you to tweak something that's been a bit wonky or something that's not been properly working or not working in proper form. For your challenge this week, you've got the world card reversed. And so the world card reversed is a card of do-overs. It's a card of resets. It's a card of things that are getting a better chance if they start up again and take a different path, go a different way, don't come down the same road they always have. When we have this card, however, as a challenge, this is usually indicating an undo and a reversal at the same time. And so there may be something that comes up where you get a chance to do something over again, to start up something again, but you have to remember that if you just keep trying the same thing the same way with the same people on the same path, the same tools, it's not going to be any different. This is not a situation that's there to test your tenacity or test your persistence or test your stubbornness. This is something that is giving you a chance to do something over for a better path, but you do need to be ready to, of course, realize that we have to maybe let go of the path we came here on. So this could be a do-over opportunity with a big goal, a big dream, a big desire, a big intention, but you've got to be allowing it to come about a different way. And finally, when it comes to relationships, love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. 
Now, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is usually a heads up card. It is telling us about a transition that's not happening this week, but the countdown is be is beginning. Now, this card can indicate um, something that we are just going to need to be getting ready for uh, because maybe a partner is giving us some news. You know, maybe they're getting ready to like change jobs or we as a couple might be getting ready to make some kind of important move or there could be some family news going on for, you know, weeks or even months down the road. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this is something that is considered true neutral. It could be a happy bit of news. For some of you, this is, could be like, finally, the countdown begins. And for some of you, this could be something that does create a, a, a bit of stress. There could, on the off chance, also be with this, though, a bonus or some kind of uh, material or financial good news coming to your love life uh, that is going to help cushion and bring comfort to the transition as we get closer to it. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this card is indicating there is likely going to be an opportunity for new love to get underway. But again, we're beginning a countdown to the real start. It's not really starting this week, but it's it's something that we might um, kind of tease out this week, but we can't really get our hands on it right now. So something is going to have to move or um, adjust before that. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Hey there, all of my Aquarian people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's going on when it comes to your week? Well, June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we've got Mars in Taurus, your fourth house of home, family, living situation, as well as home economy, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in your sign. And this kind of transit indicates um, there will be some attacks on the devil we know. And for you, this could strike pretty close to home, but not you personally. Mars square to Pluto retrograde takes shots at people or situations or setups or arrangements that have already been the source of struggle in our lives. Um, things that have stirred up drama in the past, that have alienated us in the past, that have cost us big and small. And so when we have this, it's actually something that's coming and that's meant to serve. However, this can be also difficult to deal with because, well, if it's the devil we know, on some level, it's also been a devil we've tolerated, we've accepted, put up with, or even overcompensated for. And so there could be some issues coming up around one of those kinds of, uh, you know, setups or perhaps a particular problematic situation or relative, neighbor, or somebody close to home that's coming under fire. But it is what it is. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the sun in Gemini, which is your fifth house of love, romance, recreation, creativity, personal enterprises, parenthood, and your relationships with your kids. And when we have these two come together, we see a fast forward kind of focus. And for a lot of you Aquarian people, this is just going to be a beautiful back end of this week, especially when it comes to being able to close the distance between you and some kind of deeply personal romantic fantasy or goal for maybe a creative enterprise, or maybe even to create a stronger relationship and intellectual rapport with children and partners alike. With this, we also see powerful evolutions in the maturation of a lot of important relationships, connections, and collaborations you have, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So that is what you've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Aquarius, it's time to see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. So we've got your spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, 
challenges, and of course, love, romance, and partnerships. All right, and so for this week, the big spiritual theme of the big focus is the Queen of Swords, upright. And the Queen of Swords Upright is all about solutions, it's all about problem solving, but also problem influence elimination. Uh, when we get this card, there is a huge focus on corrective forces getting down to business where they need to go, especially if we might be dealing with situations where um, maybe certain pursuits or certain ventures have lost their sense of direction, or there's a lot of BS going on in certain corners of our world. You can look at the uh, Queen of Swords upright as a bit of a cleanup crew. You might find that this week could kind of put you at odds with the Queen of Swords sometimes, because sometimes this card brings in the medicine that everybody needs, and not all medicine tastes good, even though it is medicine, right? And so there could also be some moments for that, or you may even be feeling some vicarious yeesh, uh, because of what's going on with other people around. Just remember, with this card, there is it's all about setting everybody up for their best chance. But it is a card of tough love. And tough love, however, is always better than fake love. You know, it's like I had somebody the other day talking to me about tarot and negative messages and positive messages. And I'm the kind of person who's like, look, if I'm about to step off a curb, I'm going to be so much more grateful to the person who says, Nico, watch out for that bus. Technically, that's negative news. That's a negative situation. I'm, and if I get hit by that bus because some cowardly bitch decided to say love and light and uh, watch me get hit, I'm coming back and I'm cursing her and her family. So this is where we need to appreciate the tough love and the tough news every once in a while. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, you do have the Queen of Wands reversed. So the Queen of Wands reversed is one of those situations where you might need to be ready to uh, call something out that is clearly uh, an abuse of power or an abuse of maybe space or an abuse of... Uh, I would say um, almost like not necessarily a, an abusive position that may be the case for some of you, but almost the abuse of leeway that a person might be uh, trying to use here. A lot of the times with the Queen of Wands reversed, we see an issue that is getting taken advantage of, that is getting manipulated. Now, this could be um, an individual that is acting out, uh, somebody that is very reactive, somebody that's very volatile, somebody that is very pushy. Or this could be a plan, this could be a project, this could be um, something that is not a person, but it is still harmful in the way that it is going about getting the job done. And whether it's a financial matter or a work matter or a family matter, it is something that is going to have to be stopped in its tracks. Once it is, we'll have a good week. When it comes to communications, community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Six of Swords reversed. And so this could be a week where some reunions and reconnects are happening, um, you know, with old friends, old allies. Uh, the Six of Swords reversed is a card of return journeys. And I'm kind of feeling like this is something that is likely going to be pleasant for a lot of you. You know, there's a very nostalgic feel coming from this card. Um, this could, however, yeah, maybe also indicate some delays or turnarounds with plans you have with other people. But again, revisits, reunions, reconnections, you know, if we've kind of, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a, after a falling out, it could just simply be we lost touch. But revisits, reunions, and reconnects nonetheless. For your challenge this week, you've got the Six of Wands reversed. So the Six of Wands reversed is all about changes of heart, um, opening our mind, but also backpedaling, evolving on beliefs and reversing certain ideas, reversing certain plans or certain philosophies that we've held on to. When this card shows up, there may be some things that come up that do kind of force you to evolve out of 
or reverse something that you brought forth into being, something that maybe you wish you could take back. In fact, this can actually be a really good card for that, by the way. If there is something that you have initiated or something that you wish you could take back, wish you could undo, this is the card for you. However, it can be a bit of a challenge, right? It can be kind of an ego blow. It can be all kinds of things. But, you know, the change of heart is real with the uh, with the six of wands reversed and this could actually open up good opportunities right this could open up a lot you know a lot of roads to new blessings but we've got to be willing and able to do it and for your relationships with love romance and partnerships we've got the knight of cups upright and this is going to be a beautiful week in love and romance because when we have the knight of cups there is a huge focus on renewed intimacy, renewed closeness, and also the achievement of a greater depth of feeling, even on a spiritual level in love and romance. And so for a lot of you who are coupled, a lot of you who are married, this is almost going to be kind of like a couple's retreat kind of week for you. And we see a lot of walls coming down, we see a lot of armor coming down, and a lot of very important intimate moments and a lot of very important intimate exchanges that are evolving the identity of the relationship. Partners are also demonstrating a lot more generosity, a lot more openness, a lot more loyalty, but there's just a deepening of the affection overall. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, very much the same thing is in order, even with new people or people that you may already know. Just keep in mind with the Knight of Cups that this is um, this is something that does demand a bit of reverence, right? This is an important uh, development here. Sometimes the Knight of Cups can make us feel a bit uncomfortable, right? Because this is something that's about vulnerability. It is about uh, removing masks and removing uh, armor. And sometimes people can be kind of uncomfortable with that because personas drop away but beautiful moments on the way so that is what i've got for you all i hope you found this helpful if you did don't forget my name is nico son of Celine. and should you ever want to get a session with me you can go on ahead to my website it's integrative mysticism.com Hey there, all of my Pisces people, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot forecasts for the week starting June 10th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So, hear the train? Here we go. June 11th, 12th, and 13th, we have Mars in Taurus, your third house of communications, pacts, promises, commitments, helpful third parties, collaborations, and even hookups, forming a tense square to Pluto, currently retrograde in Aquarius, your 12th house of the past. Privacy, hidden opportunities, hidden matters, shortcuts, and old business as it affects the present. And whenever we have Mars squared to Pluto retrograde, we see attacks on the devil we know. And this is likely going to stir up some drama in the middle of the week, but it doesn't have to necessarily be around you personally. A problematic agre agreement, a problematic commitment, contract, or maybe even person that is maybe kept close in your inner circle could be coming under fire. And likely this could be a situation, setup, contract, or person that has been the source of problems for you in the past. Fire starters, drama starters, you know, the toxic, whatever. And it may be a bit difficult to deal with though sometimes because we might have been very tolerant of this behavior of this person. We may have even been an apologist for it. But this will serve you in the long run to have them come under fire, even though it might make for a difficult middle of the week. June 14th and 15th, we've got Mercury conjunct the Sun in Gemini, your fourth house of home, family, living situation, and home economy. And this is going to create um, an opportunity for you to fast forward or speed up the completion of an important pursuit 
or stage in a, uh, I guess you could say almost like an era as it relates to your home and family setup, your living situation or home economy. This could actually be speeding up progress towards the accomplishment of a family goal or maybe speed up the opportunity for a move for those of you that are looking to move or relocate or perhaps even transform something about the way your home setup operates to be not only more fruitful but also a lot more comfortable. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Pisces, time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot and the traffic. All right, so we've got your spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news and messages from other people, challenges, and love, romance, and partnerships. All right, so for your big spiritual theme or the big focus of this week, you've got the Ace of Cups reversed. And while it can look like a very sad card, the Ace of Cups reversed can actually be a card that does give us a lot of opportunities to finally put a lot of problems to bed. Uh, the Ace of Cups reversed is a card that does talk a lot about blocks, blockages, blocks to flow, slows to flow, as well as even closed off emotions or even situations where we might be um, operating at a deficit or feeling deprived. When this card shows up as a theme, though, what this week is all about, it is about getting a chance to identify and even eliminate the causes and the effects of those blocks, the causes and effects of those slowdowns or the dams that were put in all of these rivers that probably did not belong there in the first place. When we have the Ace of Cups reversed show up, you get the answer to why certain things might not necessarily be going your way. And the good news is, is well, correcting it now available, right? You can't fix something if you don't know what the problem is until now. For your material circumstances, work, job, finances, and practical affairs, uh, you do have the King of Pentacles reversed. This week, you might be in for a bit of a challenge, especially around material uh, power, material temptation, and even incentivized um, issues around control. A lot of the times with the King of Pentacles reversed, uh, we see a week that is going to be quite lucrative or promises to be quite lucrative anyway on the financial front. Whether it's on the job or off the job, it does not matter. Um, it can still be a very flush and very prosperous week. But you need to be very careful when we get the King of Pentacles reversed because this can also show up where somebody may um, attempt to buy us in a sense or uh, buy something that is precious to us that they will not treat very well uh, in terms of maybe a path, a plan, bringing somebody on board. Uh, the King of Pentacles reverse can also indicate maybe a reveal about where that may have happened in the past with a certain collaboration, a certain investment, purchase, or career move. With the King of Pentacles reversed, again, this is coming up so we can confront the issue, but just make sure that you are not allowing yourself to be possessed by anything or any one uh, this week in these matters. And if you have been, take the opportunities to get out of it. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the emperor upright. And so it's kind of like, all right, we're gonna swap out the old shitty authority figure powerhouses with the good ones. That's a big one here for you. Um, with the Emperor card upright, it does look like there is um, something coming through a friend, an ally, a contact um, that either is A, in contact with or gaining the favor of something that could be an incredibly powerful influence in your life or rising to a position of power or authority themselves and essentially becoming the Emperor in, in that respect. With the Emperor card, there is something getting put behind you, something that is giving you their power to use. This could even be some kind of important call, important power move, or important hookup happening in a special connection or community space in your life that is really going to take good care of you. 
However, with the Emperor card upright, just keep in mind that um, this is likely something that could come into a clash with things in your life that are maybe negative influences, and you might just need to be ready and allow this to run its course. For your challenge this week, you've got the Page of Wands upright, letting new beginnings start. The Page of Wands is all about initiations. Uh, it's all about invitations. It's all about commencement. It's all about propositions. It's all about fast good fortune. So when is it ever a bad thing for that to happen? When we're not ready to let it. And that doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. It just means that it's going to be a challenge. A challenged situation. With the Page of Wands, there are going to be a lot of situations coming in that are going to help lift you up that could force you to turn aside from certain things that you know are creating problems but maybe don't think you can let go of or make room about. Uh, and with the Page of Wands, your biggest challenge is to find a way. This is also a, a time where a lot of initiations or a lot of new journeys are going to get started, whether you give it the okay or not. And you just got to, your challenge here to remember is these are all good things. Don't get in the way of good things. Otherwise, you might be responsible for some of the Ace of Cups reversed experiences. And when it comes to love, romance, and partnerships, You've got the Three of Wands upright. And the Three of Wands is all about expansion. It's all about big launches. It's all about things finally moving forward. Transitions, transfers, our ships coming in. And when we have Three of Wands upright in love, this is a time of fast action or propulsion towards a better normal or a better quality of life. Now, for a lot of you who are single or are available to new people, this could be closing the distance between you and a love opportunity or you and a partner potential or partner intended, especially in a situation where it may kind of feel almost like um, what's around you is just not cutting the mustard. And with the uh, with the Three of Wands upright, this could also indicate um, a partner potential or um, somebody that you have been talking to helping you to speed up something in your life that's fallen behind and, you know, helping you sit quite pretty there as well. For those of you who are coupled or are married, this is indicating the speeding up of a completion of a major task or a major uh, obligation that has maybe consumed your relationship, right? Sometimes that happens. We fall into a phase, there's a project, there's something going on, and it just kind of takes over everything. And with the Three of Wands, we are speeding it over with, fast forwarding it to be over, so we can all each, you know, move on <laughs> to uh, something better. With the Three of Wands, this could also indicate some very good news coming to you or a partner uh, on something that has been kind of out of sync or out of, um, out of reach and bringing that uh, closer as well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.